good YouTube, this is Neon Exorcist here on the Team Watchpoint UK channel. Uh, welcome to episode, I believe it is 8 of Tech for Talk Tuesday. Now, I've got a special request for Tech for Talk Tuesday from Georgia Team Care Sandwich. Uh, spoke to him at our locals on Saturday, which was the 14th. And he requested that I do Tech for Talk Tuesday on this card. Love a go. Now I thought, what possible reason could he want? Me to review Lava Golem for. And then I thought back. Oh yeah. It was seen in the top tables of YCS Brighton. It's a massive out. To a lot of. Dead situations. Now. Lava Golem reads as follows. Right. This card cannot be normal summoned to set. This card can only be special summoned. From. Uh, to your opponent's side of the field. By tributing two monsters they control. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you special summon this card. This monster's controller takes a thousand damage during each of their standby phases. Now, a friend of mine uses this card. His name is Scapegoat User. He loves to make Trollsy decks. And one of his favourite cards to include in his Trollsy decks is Lava Golem. Basically, Lava Golem can be used in all sorts of situations. Um, with the upcoming wind-ups, you can tribute two of their Zemites, drop the Lava Golem in defence. During their standby phase, they're going to take at least a thousand. They switch it to attack mode, a 3k beater, right? And it's level 2, 4, 6, 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Yes, a level 8 monster. They can't really synchro exit with it. Um, so that's going to stay on their field unless they tribute it, really. Because they can't do bugger all else with it. So they're going to try to switch it to attack mode and try and hit you for 3k. But uh, if you have a bit of added protection, um, Skategoat user likes to use Swiss Scarecrow, Battle Fader, um, Wabaku, even. All sorts of trollsy cards. To just negate the attack and get it out of the way, over and done with, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, you get rid of two of their monsters. So drop this. If you can follow it up by removing it from the field or stop it from attacking, you know, you can slowly burn out their life points, or you can just get it rid of it off the field. So although it's a negative one for you. You're getting rid of two of the opponent's most problematic monsters. So your best bet is tribute two of their monsters for this guy in defence and set some mother frickin' back row. <laughs> so Lava Girl is pretty good. You know, he's fire, he's like level A, he's 3k beat stick. You know, a thousand per turn ain't so bad early game. But when you drop this mid to late game, they could be in serious trouble. They're going to want to try and get rid of this card as soon as bloody possible. Because if you've got the life point advantage. And you can freaking stall them out. I don't recommend stalling. But when I say stall them out. I mean basically if you're um, negating attacks. Or removing that other crap from play. Basically preventing this guy from hitting your life points. If you can prevent this guy from hitting your life points for a few turns. Mid to late game. You'll burn out their life points with Lava Golden's effect. Because they take a thousand each of their standby phases. This deck card is also seen in chain burn decks and all sorts. It's quite a nifty little card actually. And uh, there's one little trick that Dark Tradition likes to do with it. He loves to play polarisation or super polarisation with this card. And uh, go into an overmaster. <laughs> such a genius way of getting rid of such a problematic card. Okay. So, Lava Golem. Interesting. Burn. Um... You know, out to opponents annoying monsters, tribute to Zen Mighty, I don't know, uh, tribute a fucking Sheen and something else, or that's for the sound players. Um, what else we got coming up? Um, we got ninjas, so, you know, maybe tribute their white dragon ninja so you can destroy some of their back row. Uh, maybe you can tribute, I don't know, uh, some of their insector monsters. It's highly. Well, it depends. If you can go for game, 
then sure, it should be their insectal monsters, but remember, insectals can re equip themselves from the graveyard to other insectal monsters. But still, it's a nice out to two monsters in your opponent's side of the field. Then, we have this new card from Order of Chaos. Um, it is called Full Force Strike. See that? Sorry about the glare. Um, now, Full Force Strike is a normal spell card, but it has an effect like Ally Justice Cataster. It reads as, target one face-up monster you control this turn. It cannot be destroyed by battle. Players take no battle damage from its attack, and if it attacks an opponent's monster, destroy the opponent's monster after damage calculation. Now, what you can do is play this card on any old monster that's not strong enough to take down something like a BLS or a Gauze or whatever. Say you have, for instance, um, just you're sitting on some defence, but you've got a stronger monster in hand, or you can make a Synchro or an Exit, but it's not quite strong enough. And you're really frustrated, because you don't really want to keep on setting and setting and setting. You draw into this card, you're like, hang on. Hang on a minute, what can I do with this? Let's read it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So, what you do is, you go for your Synchro or your Exit. It may not be strong enough to get over the monster. It may not have an effect to get rid of their monster. So you just play Full Force Strike. You play that card, and you slam into their monster. They won't take any battle damage, but you got to think of the bigger picture here. You're getting rid of a very problematic monster. If they have a BLS, you want to get rid of that as fast as possible. If they have Gauze, for instance, they can freaking synchro with that. So you want to get rid of that. Um, you know, it's just really, really good. Um, also gets around monsters that have destroyed by battle effects. I remember in the sneak peek playing this card um, when the opponent had a shark to puss or shark to pussy on their side of the field and it required to be destroyed by battle in order to equip to a monster and this uh, thing to go down for zero. So I played this card on my monster and attacked it to shark to puss and like, I'll get the effect. No, read the card. It says it has to be destroyed by battle. So this has been destroyed, and it destroys through a card effect. So I reckon full force strike, although it's only a common, can see a potential lot of play. Um, it's definitely a good side deck card, most definitely. Um, I recommend p picking these up before people start going, hang on, this is really, 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 really good. Um, it doesn't hinder your ability to attack with other monsters. It's just the one monster that gets the catastrophe effect. So if you can get that attack on their monster, it blows up after damage calculation, then you can swing with all your other monsters and potentially go for game. So yeah, I really like this card. Um, I am taking on board any suggestions for Tech for Talk Tuesday. Um, I, the pool was running rather uh, dry at a time, but now we have Order of Chaos. Um, I can see quite a few nifty little cards in there. I know Mr. Sasuke Dragon for Mayhem Monday is already reviewed. In the interplanetary purpley thorny dragon. Try saying that ten times while you're drunk. Um, <laughs> but yes, um, interplanetary purpley thorny dragon is another awesome card from the set. You know, if you don't know what it does, please go back uh, to Mayhem Monday. It's about two videos along from this cut, uh, this video, and um, it's just brilliant. You know, there's lots of brilliant little cards in Aura of Chaos. In place of Purpley Dragon, Full Force Strike, Shark to Pussy, you know, um, what else we got here? Creeping Darkness, you know, that's a nice little card, super. You know, um, we have things like Armor Freeze, Armor Ninjutsu Art Freezing. We have Vote on Lizards, uh, Vampire Koala. Double Defender. Chow Len. You know, there's just so many little cards in here that uh, can be used. So, never underestimate a common. Never underestimate a common. Because sometimes the best commons become the best tech cards and get you out of the worst of situations. Anyway, 
I've been rambling on for a bit too long. I'm Neonexus, and I'm signing out. Peace.